said the angel when it came to me it said remember Paul that you have an appointment everybody say I have an appointment with destiny my faith it's rooted in the appointment that I have with destiny. Even when the, the clouds are dark, I tell the enemy, not now. I have an appointment with Caesar. You know when the angel came to Peter, to, to Paul, did not say, Paul, you cannot die because according to the scripture, Mark chapter 2 verse 14, it's no. The the angel just came. A robobesh. Dr. Manton, the angel just came and said, mm. Let me go to an American. I want to talk to an American. You'll understand me. That if I make a mistake, I'm an African. You must know it's, it's faith of Africa. The angel said, Paul, here to remind you, I'm reminding your faith that you cannot die with those who are dying. Or remember that you have, check your diary, you have an appointment with King Caesar. Therefore, your appointment doesn't allow you to die in this ocean. They will attack you, but they cannot finish you. The boat that you are climbing will be destroyed, but not your soul. Not because you are better than anybody, just because you have an appointment with a greatness. Caesar was a system that governed was a leader of the empire. So you have an appointment to change the empire, the government of the day. So how can you die when the nation is in perplexity? How can you die when the constitution has been amended and they lost their power? How can you die it doesn't matter whether you are a prisoner, but you are a prophet. Prophesy the generals. Prophesy the captains. Prophesy the world. Prophesy the UN. Prophesy the AU. Prophesy the world. Don't be afraid, says the Lord. Prophesy they will hate you, but their hatred will never work for them. Prophesy your country. Prophesy Africa. Don't worry about your white skin in the black country. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about your background. Prophesy. I say prophet. Brrr. 